today's video is going to be my TBR of January. And if you don't know what a TBR, it is to be read. And uh, this year I'm going to try and get back into reading a lot more. Um, if you hear noise in the background, it's just Jupiter. Because he's always crazy when I decide to film. So I am starting off with three books this this month. I want to hopefully read 50 books by the end of the year. And I will try to keep up on that. Um, I used to be able to like read 50 books in one summer, but he wanted to say hi. Say hi. So I'm just going to jump right into it. Um, the first book I am, it's on my foot. I am currently reading and I've been reading since it came out. I just haven't had the oomph to actually read it. It's Midnight Sun. You all saw when I got it. I did a vlog about it. I went through all that work and <laughs> I still haven't finished it. So this is my main goal to finish this month. And if you don't know what it's about, it's Twilight, but from Edward's perspective. And we were waiting, what, 15 years for this book to come out? No, I haven't, and I haven't even finished it, so. <laughs> the next one I got is uh, Save Me by Ginny Elliott. I don't know much about it. My husband actually got this for me when we first started dating for our first Valentine's Day. That was four years ago? No, I don't know, three years ago? Four, four years ago. And it's witches, whales, and a forbidden soulmate. Even her guardian angel might have trouble saving Kara. It's beautiful. Or you do the back. Something strange is going on the co in the coastal town of Liberty, Oregon. Kara has never seen a whale swim close enough for her to touch, let alone knock her into the freezing water. Fortunately, cute newcomer David is there to save her, and the rescue leads to a bond deeper than Kara ever imagined. But then she learns something about David that changes everything, and Kara is devastated. She turns to her best friend for support, but Rachel is different. She's suddenly into witchcraft and becoming dangerously obsessed with her new boyfriend. Kara has lost her best friend, discovered her soulmate is off limits, and attracted to and attracted the attention of a stalker. At least she's not completely alone. Her mysterious, gorgeous new friend, Garen, <laughs> is there to support her, but is Garen possibly too perfect? The reason I laughed at that name, I grew up knowing somebody with that name, but it was just funny, out of nowhere. So I'm going to read it. It is from Swoon Reads, and apparently it is like Wattpad, but... I don't know if they pay you or not. I'm not sure. If you want me to look more into spoon reads, I'll read some of those. Drop it down in your co in my comments if you know any good books on there or not. The next one I have is City of Dark Magic, and I read this in I think one night. In the span of like six hours. It is well loved. I've only read it once. I started reading the sequel right after and it just didn't hit as well. So I'm gonna read this one and then read the sequel next month if I still have it somewhere. Look how beautiful it is. It is by Mag Magnus Fleet, Flight. I don't, I'm not really sure. But uh, the caption on the front is, this delicious, deliciously madcap novel has it all, murder in Prague, time travel, a mince, <laughs> Mince Anthropic, Beethoven, Tantric Sex, and a Dwarf with Attitude. Now this one is definitely not a YA, and I think I read it at 13. Could explain a lot, but um, yes. If you're, I think, maybe under the age of 17, 18, don't read it. Or if you do, I warned you. And if you get in trouble, that's not my fault. But... So beautiful. It makes me want to go to Prague so bad. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna read you the whole back. Uh, Prague is a threshold to another world where the fabric of time is thin, a city steeped in blood. 
Once in a, once a city of, sorry, I'm really bad at reading out. Once a city of enamorous wealth and culture, Prague has been home to emperors, alchemists, astronomers, and it's even be, been whispered portals to hell. When the music, when music student Sarah Weston lands a lucrative summer job at Prague Castle, at Prague Castle cataloging Beethoven's manuscripts, she has no idea how dangerous her life is about to become. Shortly after she arrives, strange things begin to happen. Sarah learns that her mentor, who had been working at the castle, many may not have committed suicide after all. She, sorry, uh, she finds herself in a cloak and dagger chase with a handsome time-traveling prince and a 400-year-old dwarf and a U.S. senator who will do anything to keep her dark secrets hidden. Fast-paced and widely imaginative, City of Dark Magic could be called a rom-com paranormal suspense novel or could simply be called one of the most entertaining novels of the year and oh my gosh, it's so good from what I remember and I hope it's just as good as as I remember and I never see anybody talking about this we need to get more people talking about it but look you got little legs there a crown Beethoven an airplane palm reading it's got it all beautiful beautiful and if we can get enough likes on this video, maybe I can convince Nakoda to go to Prague with me after everything's over. So like three years from now. It's one of my one of my goals, I have a Pinterest board for it and everything. Now, now if I finish those three books, which I'm not like going to say this book is going to get read this month, but we're gonna try. It's life and death. It's a lot shorter than Breaking, or breaking Up, obviously. It's a lot shorter than Midnight Sun and Twilight, but it is Twilight from, it's gender swapped. So, um, follows the dude, Edward's a girl now. I don't know how to arrange my bookshelf with these two new books on it, but I just got it yesterday. It was six dollars so let me read you the back there are two sides to every story you know bella and edward now get ready to to know Bo and edith in celebration of the 2015 2015 10th anniversary of twilight comes stephanie meyer's life and death a bold and compelling reimagine of the icon iconic story iconic love story that will surprise and enthrall readers. When Beaufort Swan, if that's her name, I apologize, but that's not a good name, um, moves to the gloomy town of Forks and meets the mysterious and alluring Edith Cullen, which Edith is a beautiful name. His life takes a thrilling and terrifying turn with her porcelain skin, golden eyes, mesmerizing voice, and supernatural gifts. Edith is both irresistible and ignat enigmatic what Bo doesn't realize is the closer he gets to her the more he is putting himself and those around him at risk and it might be too late to turn back with a foreword and afterward by the author this reimagining is a must read for twilight fans everywhere i'm excited i think this year is going to be me reading all the twilight books even uh, the short Second Life of Brie Tanner, which is sitting on my bookshelf and never finished. So get ready for some more book videos because I think that's where I'm going to be landing in this year. Is books, baking, crystals, and my cat. <laughs> um, so. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. If you enjoy book content, drop down your favorite books in the comments. I will get around to reading them. And yeah. Stay happy in whatever walk of life you're in because that's what matters the most. Me and Jupiter say 
goodbye and have a great day.